Here in the tranquil valley amidst the bluffs of western Wisconsin, Dr. Alf Gunderson and his wife Carol sought a refuge from a demanding medical practice. Thus began the creation of the Helga Gunderson Arboretum, honoring Dr. Alf's mother, Helga. Over the years, the Arboretum was gifted to the University of wisconsin La Crosse, who expanded it. The university increased the size of the property to the current size, using it as a classroom and nature site. In 1977, the site was purchased from the university by a group of private investors and officially incorporated as Norskedalen Nature and Heritage Center. Since then, Norskedalen has grown to include over 400 acres of wooded coulee, goat prairie, springs, creek and fields, crossed by miles of nature trails, dozens of preserved buildings, and hundreds of preserved artifacts. Norskedalen, which means Norwegian Valley, is a place dedicated to educating, preserving, and honoring Norwegian culture and heritage. A place where family is honored and friendships are made. Norwegians were, in fact, among the first European settlers to western Wisconsin. Early Norwegian immigrants to the Coon Valley area wrote letters back home explaining in remarkable detail the abundance of resources, plentiful water, and ideal weather. Contrasting with a stark, cold, harsh Norwegian landscape, many Norwegian families flocked to western Wisconsin. They also brought their traditional culture to their new homeland, forming strong social structures and vibrant communities steeped in Norwegian tradition. Their love of the land, faith, and community life became embedded in the culture of the region. Today, the influence of Norwegian culture is remembered, preserved, and retold at Norskedalen. Part of Norskedalen's mission is to interpret and educate. Not only do we have classroom and educational programs, but also frequent public festivals the whole family can enjoy such as the Candlelight Snowshoe Hike, Midsummer Fest, Music in the Valley, Twilight Tour, Civil War Reenactment, Ghoulies in the Coolies, and old-fashioned Christmas. Heritage classes where visitors can take lessons from experts in Norwegian arts and crafts and other historical skills. Our school programming curriculum is developed by educational experts. We work side by side with classroom teachers to give students opportunities to conduct historical and scientific investigations right here at Norskedalen. These investigations reinforce state and national educational standards. Students learn about life cycles, how to enjoy the outdoors safely, and like generations of Norwegian children before them, how to get their toes wet in a creek. Other various educational programming includes lectures from local and national experts on nature, heritage, and history. Or you could simply visit Norskedalen and tour our exhibit hall walk among our historic buildings, investigate our library, and spend the day losing oneself among the miles of scenic trails, lush vegetation, and bountiful wildlife.
visitors to Norskedalen will notice the number of buildings on our property. The buildings were moved to Norskedalen from local farms beginning with the Baki Corn Crib in 1982. Since then, we have acquired over 15 buildings and have recreated a typical turn-of-the-century farm on the Beckham Homestead. The Beckham Homestead has become a popular backdrop for family photos, engagements, weddings, and other ceremonies. The Benrood Chapel is a popular wedding destination. And if you're looking for a peaceful night's rest, you can rent the Paulson cabin or the farmhouse at Troon Garden. Norskedalen preserves buildings, but also our natural surroundings. On the south side of Norskedalen remains the Gunnarsson Arboretum, much as Dr. Alf and Carol planted it. In it, plants not native to this area can be found and studied. The north side of the property reflects the environment natural to Wisconsin. The whole property is a habitat for native wildlife. Dr. Gunderson started the Arboretum as a way to honor his mother, Helga. Today, that legacy continues as our many volunteers and members grow their bonds of friendship and family at Norskedalen. You could move that building. You had to come either through Westby or get on Highway 14. See, he had that corn crib on a trailer at the Sutnamai Parade in Westby. That's how come it got And he never, he never stopped. He just kept going and brought it down here. We got, we got the idea we were going to enter it as a float at the Sutnamai Parade without getting a permit. Everybody thought they knew what they were doing. <laughs> As you explore Norskedalen today, you will be continuing the rich Norwegian legacy of friendship and community. Norskedalen's story continues. In the 1980s, Troon Garden was gifted to Norskedalen by brother and sister Lloyd and Ruth Troon. This property had been in the Troon family for three generations starting when Nils Skumsrud originally settled here in 1853. The cabin he built still stands on this property and is listed on the Wisconsin Register of Historic Sites. The gift of this property adds an additional 43 acres to Norskedalen for a total of 443 acres and completes the story that starts with the immigration of Norwegian settlers to Coon Valley passed down through generations, and continues to live on today. Norskedalen receives no state or federal funding for our mission. Instead, we rely on a variety of funding sources including many generous individual donors. But our foundation is our membership. We extend an invitation to all of our members to experience the peace and heritage of our entire property and mission-free year-round. And now, we hope you enjoy your visit and your connection to the culture and heritage of the first Norwegian settlers to western Wisconsin. Mongatok.